Hello guys, so we are into part two of my colouring collection uh, video. Um, I think realistically there will be definitely three parts to this, not two as I originally thought. Looking at the books that are left and the ones I did in the last video, I think it'll definitely have this part and one more. So, we'll make a start. Uh, I couldn't earlier find my Johanna Basford Ivy and the Inky Butterfly when I showed my other Johanna Basford books. So, I do have it. I have found it. have done a couple of pages in this one. And uh, this is a, a fabulous book. I love this one. A lot of pages. Lovely little story as well for something different. Do you believe you can get this story on audiobook as well now so you can listen to it. <clears throat> We're going to go with my Creative Haven collection. So I have Vintage Christmas Windows by David and Legina Bordeaux. Creative Haven Christmas Colour by Number by George Tufexis. I do like his books, they do tend to be rather detailed for colour by numbers, but that does not bother me. My Brute Funas did not like this book though. Uh, the original Brute Funas of the three, that is. Creative Haven's Sea Life Colour by Number, also by George Tufexis. Again, nicely detailed. I have Magical Fairies by Marjorie Sornat. Quite a cute one. And I really like Teresa Goodridge, so I have her home sweet home. I would like to get some of her kind of, she's got I think country garden and um, glorious home, something like that, a couple of them she's got. I believe she has a winter one as well. All very nice, she's got a lovely style. This one which I thought was quite interesting, Ming Yu's Son, Flower Fashion Fantasies, really different. All the clothes are just flowers. I have Rose Windows by, um, it doesn't say on the front but I do believe it is, uh, Joel S. Averin. I've actually done some pages in this one. These are really fun, quick colours because of the grayscale. They look quite effective when they're done. I have Marty Noble's Flower Mandalas. do like this one, especially on the black backgrounds. They'll really pop quite nicely. Aaron Pocock's Fantastical Dragons. Again, very fun, quite detailed. Uh, then I have a Dover book, the John O'Brien's The Night Before Christmas book, really really nice this one, again it does tell the story. Then we have my Colouring Heaven collection, I am a subscriber. So I have issue 61, these are not in order, Fantasy Princesses, these are the Dash Lee designs, which I do particularly like that artist. Uh, 
You can get quite a lot of the Colour in Heaven back issues on the Anthem Publishing website. Uh, issue 62 is the Fairies Special. This is Yana Prosperina. You're going to notice a recurring theme with these books. Uh, Dragons Special, issue 63. This is by the Dragonologist Dr Ernest Drake. This is quite fun. It tells you kind of like a history of the dragons and sort of what they look like. Fantasy Cats Special, issue 65, with designs from Jess he Jeff Heaney. Sorry. I love this one. We then have the Zodiac Special, issue 67. Just remove my light away a little bit, see if that helps with some of the glare. Uh, it may add shadows though, so we'll move my bits to one side, shall we? Uh, we have pictures from Mayumi Ogihara, Tonya Bond, Kelly O'Gorman and Mitzi Sito Woof, I think it says Woof, Woof, <laughs> one of those, I'm sorry if I've got your name wrong. Uh, the Cutesy Christmas Special, issue 68. Uh, this is the designs from Mariola Budek, Jen Katz, Hannah Lynn, Ruth Sanderson. Can't say that one. Rosary Soronama and Lou Inglis Art. I do actually have this book and I've coloured this page in my other book. Very cute. Got the more recent Mermaid Special, which is the designs by Anastasia Ellie Calder Eva. This is issue 71. Particularly nice, this one. Colouring Heaven Collection Hatsune Miku because I am a fan of the game. Um, and if you know the game, you will know these characters. They all appear in the Hatsune Miku franchise. I then bought, because it just looked absolutely wonderful and I do like this artist, the Colouring Heaven Collection Chibi, which is again by Josh Lee. And these are fab. I have to remember to colour in this. We then have the new issue, Nouveau Fairies Special, issue 72, by Herb Le Leonard, I think. Uh, the first one I got, Gothic Al Alchemy Special, by Alchemy England, 1977. They're not actually from colouring book pages, they're from, they've been converted for this. This is issue 60. This is an absolutely stunning book. Just have to pull up the nerve to colour in it. Uh, I then have the Busy World Special, which is of course Colin Thompson. This is issue 64. These are <laughs> as busy as the name suggests. Fabulous pages though. 
do have his book as well. I then have the latest Halloween special, issue 66. This has designs from Yona Prosperina, Dawn Davidson, Jen Katz and Simona Candini. And then Yuriko Shiro and Matthew Lawson. It has the kind of really creepy zombies in the back. Down to the kind of gothic, beautiful pictures. All the way to the more cutesy. Kind of pages. Do you like that one? And possibly one of my favourites is Creatures of the Night Special. Uh, this is issue 70 with dark designs by Sarah Richter. I do have a whip somewhere in here, I believe. Yeah, started that one. Uh, I am filming that for you guys. It's just taking me forever that just that tale took one video. But someone did request for me to colour in this and I'm slow but I do do your requests, I promise. <laughs> so I'm working on it for you. Okay, moving along. Let's grab some more books. I have Ruth Sanderson. I have her Christmas magic book. This is lovely. And uh, this I do believe, probably near the front, there we go, my mice, all coloured in. I have Cinderella, grayscale. There are flip throughs of these books on my channel. I have fairies. Snow Princess. This is this one's particularly nice. I've actually done a page in this somewhere, is it there? In this one that we did together on the channel. Uh, I then have books, I'll do them in order, there we go, by Ellen Jurecki. These are very cute. I have a very nice colouring book, book one. Oops. I have book two. I have book three. So cute these. And I have Happy Hoppers colouring book, book one. And then a very nice colouring book, book one. By Sarah Buria, I have World of Fairies. Particularly lovely little find, even in line art. We then move to my Christine Karen collection. All mine are in the grayscale version, as I prefer. So I have fairies. Second one, see her somewhere. Fairies two.
is three. Fantasy and fairy tale characters. her books it is my goal to try and colour in some of these this year fairy and fantasy the more recent fairy and fantasy 2 I started using the nice paper now which is nice, the slightly better version of the Amazon paper. Uh, we then have Benny Blue, very recently acquired. And Benny Blue 2. Too cute these. Uh, a new illustrator to me, but one I'm a big fan of now is uh, Do Your Draws, Colour and Chicks. I've got book one and book two. This is book one. Very cute. And I recently got my hands on book two as well you can see why these sit right next to my Christine Karen can't you another cool little find uh, the Manga Invasion by Boone Howe there is a flip through coming up on my channel for this very soon if it's not up already it may or may not be just before or just after these videos Really like that one. The Colin Thompson book I mentioned, Colin Thompson's colouring book. Not for the faint hearted. Nice paper though. Uh, I got one of Olga Gola is it Golubushkina's books, Mounts One, because these just looked too cute not to fab these I think she's got a few of these out I'm going to have to have a little look at the others I have a monster doodles invasion it is illustrated by Roni C. Pius but it is a Julia Rivers or it's just one of the doodles books I've got a whip in this I do believe Yep. Uh, Yampuff's Dreams Collection by Yampuff. This is a big one. This is a few books in one. This one we did together on the channel. Uh, see if it says which books you are actually getting in here for you. Not sure. Uh, compilation of Carousel Sugary and Flowery Dreams uh, plus Galaxy Dreams and a Magic Bottle. So pages from those books in there. stack uh, fairy tales by Emily Lydhall Allberg I'm sure you will have seen this one it's pretty popular a new purchase that I absolutely love I think we'll be colouring a page on this together soon is Circle of Life this is the author 
this is a uh, stunning and a ridiculously cheap price at the moment if it's still the same as what I got it at I then have some Anastasia early colder Eva books I have a Mysteria these are fabulous books I have her Serenity as you know I bought these four together as a pack on Etsy I have Mermaid Legends and her Nocturne's book I then have a couple of Linda Ravenscroft's books I have Fairy and Fantasy Art, the original bought this direct from her website I then also have book six I'm going to do there is um, already a flip through of book one on my channel and I will do a, a flip through of this book six soon I uh, then have a couple of the Tomislav Torment books I have Spruxious Bus And German Vanger. Couple of white stag books. I have Creepers and Haunts, which I just got. Do really want volume two of this. Really cute. Little pocket size. And then I have uh, number 10, A Winter Fantasy. Uh, Lavellia from Lavellia's Colouring does the most beautiful rendition of um, the girl in the iceberg in this book somewhere. And uh, amazing, amazing. I then have this uh, posh colouring book, it's by Marjolaine Bastin and it's the Inspired by Nature book, another new one, very much like the Thomas Kincaid, it's the same publishers, but the pages, the inks are in colour. I now have The Sweet Shop by Chris Price. collected a, uh, there should be another one of these, wherever I've put it, let's see now, uh, there we go, right, sorry it's sorted, there we go, uh, so by Carla Magana, I have a macarons sketchbook, just a little Cutesy book. And then her Wee Wickeds. Slightly bigger size. Again, I've actually done a page in this one for a change. Uh, I then have by Lulu Mayo, I have A Million Unicorns. These are too cute and a lot of the time you can pick these up for like three pounds um, from Amazon UK. I don't know how much they are in the US but they tend to go down to a very good deal. Uh, 
We then have this adorable animals grayscale book by Jane Madey. This is beautiful. Another new purchase. Um, Escape to Christmas Past by Good Wives and Warriors attached. This is a little one. I've done one in this one as well. And then also by then, them, should I say, I have Exotisha Ervold, Ausmalen and Entspannen. Don't know the translation to that, but this is a lovely book. And then this Colourful World book, Voldka Fluster, House Smalling and Ernst Spanning. This is fabulous, very Rita Berman esque. This I've done a page in here somewhere, but don't know if it will, how we'll be able to find it for you. Um, it was with my testing out the Crayola pencils that I got. There we go, just a little bit of something fun. I have this which isn't technically a colouring book, it's a kind of a little phrases book but too cute. Chris Riddell's 100 Hugs. Uh, so lovely and obviously we collect it to colour it. Glad I grabbed this one. takes us to Rita Berman. I have my own Mine Fooling's Spatsia Gang. Uh, I think it basically is my uh, spring walk I think that one. And then Mine Herb Spatsy again, which I think is my autumn walk. And mine Winter Spatsy again, which is of course my winter walk, I think. don't have summer but there is a summer then I have developed under the loop the land which is kind of the land under the microscope I think I've actually done a couple of pages in this yep yeah, that one and that one for, for a change um, and then same thing but under the water this is all I've done in this one. Uh, I then have by Miss War her original Shades of Kawaii, uh, the first one. I think this might be, I think that's the only page I've coloured in that one. I have Sherry Baldies, My Besties, Ella Bella Buttons and Balls. Do believe I've only done this one. We did that one together on the channel, trying out the Derwent Pastel Pencils. And then I have Emmanuel Collins. Out of the five Colour Riage Wild, I have one, two, and three. This is the only page I've actually managed to pluck up the courage and colour. But these are absolutely stunning on cardstock. 
beautiful pages. Let's put one. I must admit, I would like book four and five. Was that? Yep. And then we have book two. The fifth book is Boys, and the fourth one has spirit animals with them, I do believe. Okay, we'll do just a few more. <laughs> just a few more, and then I think it will be time. So I have by Rachel Mintz, Friendship. This is a very simple but very beautiful book in grayscale. Glad I got that one. Uh, her Rachel Mintz, Stunning Elf Warrior. They're a bit computer generated some of these so to see what they're like when we colour them. Uh, I have Jason Hamilton's the Art of Mandala, Volume 1, randomly in here. I think he's on the wrong shelf. And then we have my Elena Lazareva books. I have Elegant Beauties. This one is stunning. This one and My Ladies of Nature are my favourites of hers. I have Pirates. And then Ladies of Nature. I very much like this one. And then by Black River Art, I have Colorsome Cuteness, the Christmas edition. These are cute as well. I do actually have actually done a page in this one. There we are. Go me. Uh, I have a dream world the first one done a couple of pages in here this one in marker and that's a video on my channel uh, got two more somewhere that one we did together on the channel and that one we did together on the channel that's in black widows that and uh, they work beautifully on these pages and that one i did pre having my channel and then i have dream world 2 which i haven't done any pages out of yet do like this one though just too many pages too little time uh, by Jana Prosperina, I have Fantasy Dolls, Volume 1, Grayscale. Not sure about this one. They're a little bit blurry. Let's see what they've come out like. And then I have my Bennett Klein books. I have Colour My Sketchbook. These are very odd. Intriguing though, but very unusual. Colour My Sketchbook 2. There is a flip through of all the Bennett Klein books I have on my channel. Colour My Sketchbook 3. Colour My Sketchbook 4. And Colour My Sketchbook Bloom. Then I have three of the Heather Valentin books. I have volume eight, which is Lacey Sunshine's Enchanted Frozen Kingdom. I 
Luna Mysteries, which I pull out every month to colour in and every month I don't. I do like it though, I just don't seem to get to it. And my Illuminations book. Very pretty this one. I've only done that page though. Uh, by Meredith Dillman. I have Fanciful Fairy Fashion. Do like this one. Lovely little find. I have by Robert Roscombe, Raspberry Hill. And I Daydream by Takeuchi Art. This is particularly nice. Another recent purchase. I have three books by Scott Holden. I have Colouring Fantasy Volume 3. Which is my favourite out of the three, I think. I have Colouring Fantasy Volume 2. And Colouring Fantasy Volume 1. I have Disney Classics Colouring. Uh, I'm not sure who this is by. Autumn Publishing. Over 100 pages to colour. Do like Mulan. There's a nice one that one. There's a villains of that that I quite fancy. I have Lady Mechanica, which is by Joe Benitez. This is from the comic book, I do believe. And then I have Les Melendres Fright and Seek. This is particularly cute, this one, like a Zendu, uh, like a doodle invasion kind of book. It tells you the little monsters on the other side and what they are. Okay, where are we at? A couple more. Last couple. I have Marty Joel's colouring, which is the white line books. I have Midnight Madness Volume Two, which is her Halloweeny one. Her, it's probably a there. It's probably a company actually. Uh, Midnight Butterflies, same thing. White lines, and then Midnight Flowers, which I have actually a couple of pages from this one very wallpapery just for relaxing I buy Forest Diver which these are Julia Rivers I have The Hidden Spirits of the Enchanted Forest this one I really like and also by Forest Diver the Fantastic World of the Brothers Grimm. And then my Two Dainty Damsels books, which are by J.N. Sheets. I have the Halloween Collection, 2019. These are very cute little pages. And then I have the Holiday Collection 2018. And I think that is where we will leave this today. So like I say, there's going to be one more part, a part three, to finish the collection off. I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I say, uh, I know it was requested and it did take me a while to get around to doing 
because it's a bit of a mammoth task but one more video to go we're nearly there and uh, thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one